What's good everyone? This is Chambers from ChambersMixit.com and today we're going to be looking- SIR! SIR, can you be a I'm little sorry. bit louder? Who, who are you? What? Hey, it's Jeremy! I'm Jeremy, I'm how you doing? Guy. I'm Jeremy. No. I'm, the, I'm the new no, sound nobody guy. Nobody needs here a sound guy. Right. What? What's going on no, here? I'm, you're paying for no, my I, time I don't by the hour. I'm not paying you for anything. I'm not paying you for you're your time. No one's paying- I don't know where you came from. Where? What? Can you get out of my room? Do not get, get hostile out of with me! Do not get- Oh, he really wants to do this, huh? I can't believe this. Man, where the I can't believe yo, you don't know where did who you I come am. from? Why I'm here? What is? I... Hey, what's up, Carl? How you doing? Man. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What am I doing again? This is fine. You know, this is a bad idea. What's good, everyone? This is Chambers from ChambersMixedIt.com, and we're back with another tutorial. It's been quite some time, I think like a month or more than that, or I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, Where's the sound guy? Is Jeremy here? Y'all ever try water? So in the last video, I asked you guys, what do you guys want to see next? The The majority of the response was another R&B video. I have two R&B videos out, one for Summer Walker slash Tory Lanez and one for Trippy Red. And we're going to do another one today. We're going to go over a different chord progression and just a different style of how you can use R&B and kind of mix it with trap music. So let's get into FL Studio 20 and get started. First things first, and that would be the chords. So let's use the stock piano, go into packs, go into instruments, go into keyboard, right click on close grand and hit select, send, I can't read, send to selected channel or focused plugin, okay? So now once you've done, uh, I can't believe I just got disrespected like that. I'm gonna start with F, lower that velocity cause it's kind of like, much softer there you go we're gonna start it simple with just the f major chord beautiful so this is what you call an f major triad triad because it's only three notes now when we add the next note to make it an f major seventh chord it's now called a seventh chord now you might be confused because how do we go from a triad to a seventh well because you just call this a triad because it's just three simple notes but you call this a seventh because this is the seventh note in the scale so if we're in like the F major scale or whatever scale we're going to be in, this would be the seventh note. So here's the F major scale, right? I'm going to play it. So let's count. This is the one, two, three. A is the third, four, five. C, C, oh, are you serious? C is the fifth. Keep moving up. Six, seven. E is our seventh. So we have one, three, five, seven, in terms of the order of the scale. So this is why you call this a seventh chord. If I were to add another note, it's a ninth chord, because guess what? This is the ninth note in the F major scale. But we'll just keep it simple with the seventh chord. So for our next chord, I'm gonna hold shift and drag this out. This duplicates the chord. Now what we wanna do is drop it down one semitone from a more like a diminished chord. But if you do this, you just have two major chords, right? That doesn't sound very good. So what we're gonna do is flatten the seventh. Flatten means to put down one semitone, just like this. Ooh, now we kind of jazz it up. Cause this right here, this is a diminished chord. Cause it, it kind of looked weird. Cause it's like, like, look at him. Let's drag this out. Let's put it on the clap so it's right here. I want it to be more than just, you can be so much more. You have to reach your full potential. So let's add a G, see what this sounds like. We're at E, right, for the root note? Let's keep it that way. Let's make this into a minor seventh chord. So remember what a seventh chord is? We have our one, three, five, seven. There you go. Ooh. This is kind of like our transition chord. This is what we use to bridge between the major and the minor chord. You got a piece of land, right? And another piece of land, and it's just water in between. So you got this guy, he's like a bridge. He gonna take you from, boom. This time, let's just take out the G and keep it simple. Make it more interesting, put him here. Yep. 
let's duplicate this over have it go again right but now if you know me you know i love a good 251 chord progression so why not put that in so if you don't know what a 251 is i went over what it is in the tory lane slash summer walker r&b tutorial but i'm about to go over it once again and we're going to use it in a different style going back to talking about the number that a note is in the scale f is the one right so if i want to get to a two i'm gonna go to a g then we want to go to the five so what's the five c is the five what okay it's okay false alarm before we even get into that let's add some more bass notes to it so just take an octave of this control down arrow boom octave then we're gonna go to the e next but instead of going to that e again i kind of want to lift it up so let's go to the a that's nice Then two, five, one, right? So if our two is G and our five is C, it's gonna sound like this. So what do I wanna hear with that? I wanna hear a... An F to an E. This right here is a little half step, right? And that's gonna be our top note. That's our leading tone, the F to the E. And let's reverse engineer that into a major chord. So I'm taking the F, which is the top note, and let's make that into a major chord. And let's copy the D note over. And all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put a C here, because I think it's a good idea if we took an octave of this C and brought him up, there he is. So nothing complicated there. So it sounds pretty cool right now, but look at all of this space right here. It's nothing there. So let's take an octave of the G right here and put them right there. And then we'll use the E right there. Ooh, we took an octave of the D note here. That's a two, five, one. All it is is this G, two, to the C, five, back to the F, one. So let's pitch that up a few semitones hitting shift and the control up arrow on your keyboard. And it sounds like a robot played it. So hit alt S, strum out the nose a little bit. Mm -hmm. What well, I'm gonna do it here, you can't just go bump, bump. You gotta have it, you gotta jazz it up. So we'll have it like this. And let's bring a little bridge note at the A sharp. So we're going from B to an A, right? A sharp's not even in the scale. You're like, what is this guy doing here? What we're going to do here is sort of break the rule and go out of the scale with that A sharp just to bridge the gap between the B and the A. Now you don't normally, like, don't go like making a chord progression and like all of a sudden you just start putting keys out of scale and whatever it works here because it has like a jazzy vibe to it and it always works good with the two five one go down that one semitone just to like pass it by it sounds like this what i want to do next is layer it with more instruments so let's grab electra x go into the pad presets and grab almost invisible so go back to pattern one in the channel rack though so go to the piano hit Control c add a new pattern go to electra x and hit Control v so now it sounds like this we don't really need the strum with the pad so just hit Control q to quantize it again and we don't really need the bass notes either so it sounds like this nice dreamy vibe to it I'm actually gonna pitch them back down a semitone so it sounds like this. Let's do the bass real quick. Go into the channel rack and grab citrus. Go into presets and let's grab deep three. Perfect bass for this type of stuff. And really all you gotta do, copy the root notes of the piano. It's too low right now to hear it, but you know, I'm just copying it in. Control L, pick that up an octave and let's also bring the velocity up. Look at that, wow. That is whew.
Okay, so yeah, so that's pretty much a nice R&B type chord progression. So that's the R&B side of things. Now we want to kind of mix it in and make it more modern and make it more of like a modern hip hop slash trap sound to it. I'm going to right click and quick render them as audio clips. Just drag those in. So let's mix it real quick. Really shouldn't take that long. So click each one, go into the mixer, go to slot one, right click channel routing, route selected channel starting from this track. There you go. Here's the piano. Let's put some reverb on it. Cut out the low end. Add stereo separation to make it wider. Let's also put some reverb on the pad. I'll give it more of a decay time. Also cut the low end out of that. Mm -hmm. The bass. Cut the high end out. Make it a little more stereo. Lower the pad. Check in mono. So moving on, it's time to get into the drums and to make it more of a modern sound that an artist today would get on. I love to use percussion loops in beats like this because they add nice rhythm and like bounce to it. Let's drag in that perk loop, put it on stretch mode, click in stretch mode, and let's stretch that to where it needs to be. Too fast. There we go. Stretch it out to eight bars. And it's kind of messed up, so pitch it down. Just have it like really in the background, just to fill in some gaps that the drums won't really hit. I get very specific when it comes to my sound selection for like a beat like this. So I made a kit that is perfect for blending R&B and trap music together. It's called the R&B Trap Fusion Drum Kit. And it pretty much has all the drum sounds and effects that you're gonna wanna use when you're blending R&B and trap music. We have 808 slash bass sounds, claps, hi-hats, kicks, open hi-hats, perks, snares, and extras. You got like 10 808s, 10 claps, 10 hi-hats, 10 kicks. And the special thing about this is when I was making this kit, and making these sounds, I decided that I'm gonna run each sound through my outboard analog equipment. So I have an 1176 compressor and a Pultec EQ. And when I run the sounds through that, it just adds so much more warmth and saturation and more life into the sound that you're probably not gonna find in a different drum kit. So that was really fun to do because it beefed up the sound and really like brought out the best in it. That's only for $14. It's on my website, chambersmixedit.com slash sound kits. I'll leave a link in the description and in the comment section for you guys. So let's see, I'm gonna start with a clap. You got this nice bright clap and you can really hear like how saturated that sounds. Instead of putting the clap on these notes of the channel rack, we're gonna go here and put it on the two and the four. Let's add a hi-hat. Hi-hat number one, let's put that in. I took out the last note here just to add like a little pause before a nice beat drop hits. And let's alter the velocities, scroll it down. So it has more life to it instead of the same hit every time it's more like up down up down up down it's like a heartbeat fill each two steps again and we'll just leave it like that pretty simple it allows the artist to really express themselves vocally instead of crowding it up with a bunch of drum sounds so i'll keep it simple with the hi-hats open hi-hat too i like i'm gonna put that before the clap Percussion. Let's start out with the cowbell. I like to put them at the end of every four bars, at the very end, so it's like this. I'll say it again. If you're not tuning your cowbells, you're just disrespecting me. So make sure it sounds right with the beat. And in order to tune the cowbell to the key of the song, just go in here. I just right clicked on the beat. It sounds much better. More percussion. We got this nice little rim shot sound see what snares we have snare six is fire and what i'll do with that is the classic snare pattern that everyone knows i love perk one perk 10 i love to put that on the one this can really make your beat so much more interesting when you have like different sounds like this and we have like a chime hi-hat sound put that in there right before the clap Cool. Listen to these. These 808s are thick. Are you are you kidding me? Did you hear that? But yeah, a lot of you guys been asking like how you get your 808s so beefy like that. Just get this kit. Like they're all in here. So let's go to the kicks. Kick four. Change it up right here. Mm 
Remember that add a scale note and how we're incorporating it? This triple kick hit right here. But yeah, so this is like a basic R&B slash trap beat. We didn't do any melodies for this one. When someone sings on this, they're going to be bringing in their own vocal melody ideas. So generally, you kind of want to leave these beats pretty open for people to express themselves with their voice. The major chords, then to this diminished chord, the minor chord. We had the 2-5-1 at the end, layered it with a pad, added the bass, percussion loops, and then we did the R&B slash trap drum combo. And yeah, once again, you can get those drums for only $14 at chambersmixedit.com slash sound kits link in the description and in the comment section but yeah so that's another r&b tutorial for you guys i'm gonna say it again what videos do you want to see don't say r&b this time unless you really really want to see like another r&b chord progression or whatever i'd be down to do it but you guys let me know but yeah so thank you all for watching i really appreciate it it's chambers from chambersmixedit.com and i will see you guys in the next video Are you good? Where's the sound guy when you need him? Jeremy! <laughs>